Hi Aries and welcome back to your Twin Flame reading. Okay Aries, before we start, okay, I have some new announcements. We are doing gift boxes now, okay, on my website. These are available on the website which is on the description box below and at the bottom of the screen. This is a summer theme gift box that I have hand handmade and created myself. Okay, I know you guys are going to love this box as much as I do. Each box every month has a different theme in it. And this month is summer loving theme. Okay, it has everything you need for healing and relaxation. Okay, um, so do go and check it out. It has a burst of, as I like to say, vitamin D energy. So it kind of makes you feel like, hey, you've had a burst of vitamin D and vitamin C energy coming through from the sun. Okay, so that is how this box feels with the energy inside of it. So grab yours, okay, 10% off for new uh, newbies, okay. The code is on my website, okay, so go ahead and check it out. I'm so, so excited. Can't wait for you guys to try it out, okay. So getting on with your reading, please remember that you are on this side, your person's on this side. I am going to flip and twist the energies, okay, and you are able to flip and twist the energies as well to however it resonates, okay. Cross watchers are welcome too. So I'm pretty sure for the oracle cards, let's see what messages come up for you. You have the end of a tough cycle approaches, okay? So something that you feel may have been very difficult to handle is coming to an end. Come out of breath, I am. Um, something bigger is on the way. So now that that ended, there is something new coming along your way. Allow your vision to expand and be open to the form it takes. You may discover that you are dreaming too small. Well, that what seemed to be like an obstacle is or actually pointing you in a better direction. The universe always has your back. Okay. And the universe, let's see what messages it has. No two flowers are the same, yet no, yet all are beautiful in their own way. Comparisons are odious because they presume all other things are equal, which is never the case between me and you, the universe. Okay, interesting. All right, so, person A, which is on this side, and person B. Person A has the world, the judgment, the fool, nine of swords, seven of swords, and the hanged woman. Person B has the ace of swords, the moon, the ace of cups, six of swords, prince of cups, three of coins. Let's go in and clarify. Okay, clarify the reading, please, for my Aries. Clarify the reading, please, for Aries. I feel in the recent past in this relationship, there was a completion. There was a completion that came in. Okay. Um, and with the judgment being there, you had made the decision and you had stuck to that decision. No matter what's going to happen, I'm going to let this completion go through. I'm going to be, you know, um, sticking to my guns no matter what happens. However, there was still something that even though you wanted to make a decision, it was holding you back from making a decision or a lack of thereof. In the current position, you have the Fool and you have the Nine of Swords. So you want to start a new beginning, but you're, you're afraid or not even afraid, you're anxious of making a foolish mistake. Inevitably, that's leading you to a lot of disappointment, sleepless nights, depression, anxiety. You kind of kept yourself locked away. Maybe a decision was made and you're not exactly happy about it, but there is not much choice that you can or you do have in regards to this. As the alchemy of the Seven of Swords and the Hangwoman, so somebody got away with something. Somebody got away with something, somebody lied maybe, somebody maybe perhaps, you know, deceived you. And that left you kind of stalemate hanging there. But that also means breaking away from these old habits, you know, or breaking away from toxic people in order to come out with a transformation. They have the Ace of Swords in the Moon for their recent past. That means that they broke through from a difficult situation. They gained some mental clarity and broke through from a deceptive behavior, perhaps. Maybe they were being deceptive. Maybe they felt that like you were being deceptive with the decisions that you have made. So there could have been some misunderstanding here. In the current situation, you've got the Ace of Cups. So this person here is ready to start new love. Or at least reach for that cup of love. 
and take a new risk in a situation. But I feel like that is not really happening because you don't want to take the risk. Either you or this person don't want to take the risk. Somebody here doesn't want to take the risk. So this person said, okay, you know what? Fine, I'm going to move on um, to a better place. And even though I thought that this, you know, relationship had a potential, but clearly there is no potential in this relationship because person A here is too much in their mind about, about how they feel. The depression, the anxiety, whatever this is. So this person um, has moved towards the outcome. They're worried. They're worried that they express themselves. Will you reciprocate? Um, they're worried. Intuitively, they're worried. So they may not be listening to the intuition if they're worried, because usually the intuition is never wrong. It tells you the truth. Um, and they really want to work on this connection, or at least a connection. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. Okay, let's start. Let's go to the world. Clarify the world for me, please. We have the Six of Wands. So, in the recent past, there was a completion, perhaps in your career or in your finance, but, you know, you felt in general in a relationship here that, you know, you're moving forward successfully. Okay, you're heading towards the right direction when it comes to your higher self and what you need to do but i feel like this is definitely you know just a completion in regards to your business and your success let's see what this judgment is tell me about the judgment you made a decision and even though you knew that it was going to break this the person's heart or you had been heartbroken but you made the decision that okay you know what i'm going to open my heart to to release any pain that there may be and just kind of be more open-minded and come out of this heartbreak you know Make a decision and stick to it and transition out this pain. Let's see what this fool is. Hello at the fool, please. You're working on a new beginning. You're working on yourself. And that's good. That's good. You're working on yourself. You're working on a new beginning. But I feel like you're still not quite there yet, you know. Uh, there's still a lot more that you need to work on because clearly you're in the nine of swords position how about the nine of swords ten of pentacles you really wanted to have a family with this person and you were really hoping to work on it and have a new beginning with this person it just didn't work mm -hmm. we'll find out why it didn't work when we move towards this person but that's upset you quite a lot that made you feel very very upset Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Death card in reverse. I feel like you're unable to move away from this connection. You're unable to transition from it. I feel like you're stuck on this, but there's resist to change. You just don't want to do, go through this change. That is self-sabotage. That is you going through self-deception. You're deceiving yourself by doing this. You feel like you can actually surpass the trans transformation that may be happening within you. But, you know, you can't. You can't, okay, Aries. Transformation is something that's going to be forced upon you by the universe. The universe is going to say, well, actually, you know what? No, you're going to have to go through this transformation because I'm going to say, and that is going to happen. So you can surpass it right now, but eventually it's going to catch up to you and it's going to happen because the more you resist the change, the more you're making it harder for yourself. You may also be lying to yourself that actually, no, maybe there's still hope for this relationship to keep going. Maybe there is hope. Maybe this person will come back to me, you know? Let's see about this hanged woman. Tell me about this hanged woman. I feel like you're lying to yourself in a way. Tell me about this hanged woman. I feel like you want to go make a proposition. Maybe you want to propose to this person. You're thinking of planning on how to do it. Um, you want this harmony. You want this happy family with this person, you know. And you want to ask this person for it. Maybe it will work. Maybe you won't. But maybe this person's expecting you to change, which you're not doing. Let's see. Let's see. What is this Eight of Swords about, please? How about the Eight of Swords? 
Apparently, yeah, the sword, Ace of Swords, sorry. Ace of Swords. <laughs> Came out in reverse. This person made the decision. This person made the decision to get a breakthrough in a situation, to gain victory over the situation and gain some mental clarity. So whatever, whatever mental clarity that they got out of this, it helped them make the right choice. And they stuck to that choice. Tell me about the moon. Which means that you're both inevitably heading in the right direction. So what happened? Tell me about the moon. Ooh. But then they have the nine of swords. Insecurities. There was a lot of insecurities going on here. A lot of insecurities, a lot of fears coming through here with the nine of swords. Sleepless nights even. Insomnia maybe as well. For some. You made a decision, but that inevitably led them to have a lot of stress. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Why is this person sad? Why is this person upset? Why is this person down? Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. They cannot make a decision. They are very conflicted. They can't make a decision about something. They're very confused. Okay. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please. Aries. We have the Eight of Wands. There is communication. There is action coming in. I feel like somebody may be travelling to someone. But there is communication coming in. There's passionate and you know romantic communication between you and this person so you are ready to work on it and start a brand new beginning this person is having passionate communication with you i guess i'm about the six of swords or maybe this person's moving away but you don't want them to and that's upsetting you okay they're relocating Tell me about the Six of Swords. Ace of Swords in reverse. Chaos. A lot of chaos because they're moving. There's a lack of clarity now. There's a hollow victory, meaning, in other words, they're not they're not really getting anywhere. There's more obstacles and challenges, but they're moving. They're moving or they're going somewhere and And it's a lot of chaos. A lot of mental blockages. Hmm. Let's see what this Princess of Cups is about. Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody who is still growing on an emotional level, but on a practical level, on a logical level. They're a very balanced person. They're very motherly. They're a homemaker. They like to take responsibility. Um... You could be spying on them. Maybe you feel that they've been telling lies to you because they're always giving you light-hearted conversations. And maybe you feel like they're always lying to you, but the other thing is that you just can't get away from them. You can't leave their memories behind. You're always thinking about them. How about the Three of Pentacles? You have the sun and the justice in reverse. So somebody here is trying to work on themselves, their happiness. But they also feel there's a lot of dishonesty here. And they feel like they're being held accountable every single time. When it comes to um, their happiness. They have to put others first and things like this. Let me find out what the death is about. Tell me about this death. It looks complicated, Aries. It looks complicated. Tell me about the death in reverse. Why is the death in reverse? Why can this person not move away from the situation? What is restricting them? What is blocking them? A block? An apology? An apology? You can't move on because of an apology. You want an apology or you want to give an apology. So maybe you're moving towards this person. 
to make an apology but this person is like well actually no because i still feel like whatever happened to me was unjustified so your apology is not going to work so you may have lied about something and now you're stuck okay you know your situation better than i do i'm just here telling you so you have the death and the queen of cups which is what's working well so somebody here clearly has ended something came out you know with the glow up the whole 360 turnaround of going through this transformation um you know they've become more intuitive they become more highly aware um of what they want and what they will tolerate and what they won't um i'll let you decide whose side that is on what is not working well is that yeah there is the loss of a soulmate connection here okay um but somebody here is quite determined to follow their dreams their hopes their wishes i feel that might be you you know like you're determined you're determined to perhaps make amends with this person but this person says well the damage is already done so screw it I also feel here that what's keeping this uh, connection together is that there is something big and i feel like somebody here manifested this connection somebody here manifested this connection and that's why it's karmically keeps coming around but i feel like there is something here that needs to come out into the open and that could be about a divorce that could be about the truth about something or having to compromise so maybe you're being taught how to compromise in a situation in order to get some justice but you manifested this so that's your choice hmm. okay aries i'm gonna some, i'm gonna leave this video here okay you're reading here i hope it resonated if it did don't forget to smash that like share and of course don't forget to subscribe as well to my channel if you haven't done so already and if you have thank you so so much um, and I'm going to uh, love you and leave you. Take care. Bye-bye.